find your breath. If you lost it in the morning, now's your chance to find it. And then try to hang on. Ask yourself, why do you drop it in the meantime? What kind of things pull you away? You see this most clearly when you try very diligently to stay with the breath. This is why it's important that you don't let your mind just kind of wander around noting this, noting that. You have to stick with one thing. And that's when you begin to see, when the mind moves from that one thing, why does it go? What are its intentions? Otherwise, if you just take it for granted that the mind wanders around and you're just going to be with whatever it focuses on, you never see the motive force for why it's moving. But when you resist it a bit, then you understand. It's like putting a dam across a stream. As you go through the process of building the dam, you find out a lot more about the currents of the river than you would have just sim simply watching the currents flow past, flow past. This is why concentration is such an important part of the practice, having one center that you stick to. That doesn't mean that you're not aware of other things, but this is your frame of reference. Try to relate everything else to this. And it's when you have that singleness of uh, object and singleness of intent that you begin to see because the other intents come in. And why are they going in other directions? What's pushing you off? And the times when you can resist the push, and other times when you just go right along with it. Okay, what was the difference? This is how concentration gives rise to discernment. You begin to see the movements of your mind. And a lot of the subtle movements that you just normally just let pass, less pass. So here's the time to really get to know your own mind by giving yourself one thing to stick with. You want to stick with the breath throughout the day as much as you can. Make it a comfortable place to be. Have a sense of the breath filling the whole body so it's easier to stay here. But be, careful, be very careful not to get pushed off. If you sense yourself have, having been pushed off, just get right back. Try to get quicker and quicker about sensing when the impulse to go comes into the mind. Because sometimes it'll come before you actually move. It'll just kind of plant a little thought, like a little seed, and then it pretends it's nothing happening. And then after all, it begins to grow, and then it gets reinforced, and all of a sudden you find yourself gone without having really thought about it. So try to get to see these stages and learn how to prevent them as best you can. You're going to learn an awful lot about the mind.